uh, show. Uh, Jason, what would you like to say before we start the interview? Honestly, what you're seeing right here is a completely new style that I'm pretty sure somebody's done it before, but at the same time, it's something that I started doing recently and just playing around with this, trying to have fun. Yeah, this was actually submitted to um, Roger Williams University's art magazine. I submitted it just to try to be part of the magazine for their next um, annual issue that they're going to make. And uh, I ended up getting some good news back from them. Uh, they want me to design the next cover for the magazine. How's it going? My name is Stefan Correa and I'm here with Almami and Devon, a few of Times Square students. Uh, I believe they said they were in the ninth grade, right? Yes. And uh, Almami, you had a few pieces that were in the art gallery. Would you like to, you know, talk a little bit about that? Um, in my mind, I imagine things from everyday life and then I draw them to what I think of. Like, there was one piece of this girl with an Obey hat. In a way, I saw the Obey hat on a store window. I drew it and then just little pieces, like um, I always draw eyes, t tattoos, so I just drew that as a tattoo on her list. And like Mr. Demucci, he's been our one art teacher. I mean, we haven't ever switched art teachers, so like his technique has helped us, like in shading, drawing, lines, everything. How do you feel like, you know, matriculating through all those grades? I think Times Two is a very good school all around. It definitely influenced me in different ways. Like, for one, in my old school, I know I was horrible at English. <laughs> ever since I came here, <laughs> My writing, everything has gotten better with me, especially my art. That's one thing I love, it's definitely improved when I came here. Oh, mommy, yeah. nice to uh, interview you. Uh, Devon, nice interviewing you too. And uh, this is Times Square Academy, like I said, Stephen Career with AGE Films. Thank you. I'm here with Michael Demucci, head art director here at Times Square Academy, and uh, would you like to tell us a little bit about you know this art, uh, the art gallery itself, how it got started, you know? Sure. We started the art gallery about seven years ago in an effort to not only support what we do here, because in Providence alone, we really have underfunded for art in schools. There's so few of us in the district, art teachers, that at Times Square Academy, especially being a STEM school, we just didn't have the budget for art. So we started. We said, what if we did an art show? Originally, we, t we teamed up at Scholastic Arts and we were doing an art show, but parents complained because I think it didn't fit into their budget, it was really expensive. So we have started a grassroots art show at this school that we can buy cheap art. For $5, you can buy a piece of your kid's work and you can send it home with them. C completely different than other schools are doing. We don't expect our parents to spend $35. We give them their piece, we give them a piece for $5 and they're happy with it. Kids create it just for the art show and it's special. Yeah. Uh, could you talk a little bit more about you know what we have behind us, if you wouldn't mind? Right here, this is a one panel in, uh, in one of 14 panels from a mural project that we're doing about the biomes of the world. So biomes are small ecosystems. So this is a STEM project uh, tied with art, so we call it a STEAM project. Everything from foam insulation from Home Depot to every hand-built piece one kid did one piece. Wow. They're all assembled together. Um, we've tiled the pieces. This is the entire aquatic biomes of the world. So it's everything associated with water. And on the other side are the terrestrial biomes of the world. We have one more panel to go and it will complete the project. So it's about a total of 4,000 pounds of relief on these walls. Where before they were just plain old yeah, boring no, walls. Remember, yeah. These are the lunch walls where the kids sit and line up for lunch. So we figured we're going to give back. We did the whole doorway the Costa Rican rainforest, and it just, it's come alive for us. It's really, really great. Nice. No, it's really We're taking really over nice. the school. Yeah. <laughs> the school is under really great change. It's, for the first time, creating a space just for engineering, so it's tied into what our mission's doing. We're gonna have a beautiful engineering lab located in the former uh, location of the lecture hall. It'll be a two-part lab with uh, computers and more clean things, and then a full-out workshop for just straight on building and experimenting with forces and momentum and all the physics principles associated. So it's it's remarkable for our school, and I believe it's one of the only 
uh, schools in sort of secondary and ele elementary levels that will have an engineering lab to use. We have great architects working on this with us. We all had input in it. In addition to that, we're getting a totally new revamped website that's going to be state-of-the-art, interactive, it's going to have teacher pages and galleries, so we've, we're, coming, we're coming into the 21st century. Sounds like it. A little late, but we're getting there. <laughs> We're getting there. Well, yeah. all sounds great. Thanks. Uh, Thank you, thanks sir. for having us. Thanks I really so much. Appreciate it. I appreciate it. Kodak Kareem. Thank you. Kodak Kareem. The teachers love me. <laughs> what are you going to do? AG. <laughs> Top Sport Academy.